Hey guys, Matt's Play here. So a massive report came out a few days ago detailing what's coming up in August or slash July 31st. So I thought I'd sit down with you guys, let's go through it and see what's coming up. So just a heads up, there will be a maintenance on the 31st of July. So prepare for a downtime, but a lot of good changes are coming through to this game. So let's start with the first big change. So by revamping multiplayer, Currently, you can only do multiplayer with people that you had mutual friendship with, but now it's expanding out so that you can pretty much host a session, have anyone join in, and then do multiplayer that way. This is good for someone like me. A lot of people on my friends list either have stopped playing or don't do multiplayer, so don't really do multiplayer battles that often. So I'm hoping that with this, I'll be able to bring some more multiplayer battles to the channel and get to play with different players around the world. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. This is going to be a good change, and I, I welcome it. Next up, character buffs. These five characters, Virion, Edge, Ico, Tears, and King are all getting buffs. I can't wait to see what buffs are coming their way. Virion, Edge, uh, and Tears need it the most, really. I mean, I like Ico. I think Ico is pretty solid. I think King is pretty solid as well. So I have no complaints that way, but I can't wait to see what's going to happen with these guys. Like This, this is going to be interesting because they, the three I mentioned, really, really needed it. They really needed it. And yep, that'll be coming in on uh, the 31st as well. So a lot of these changes will be coming on the 31st as well. So after the maintenance, that's when the game goes up another level. Next up, this is a, probably a big, big change as well. So a new shop will be opening up and in that shop, we'll be able to purchase exclusive five star armors for characters, our story characters anyway. But I don't know if it says whether or not we can get event characters as well, but as Squall, Setzer, and Vanilla are three characters as well now, thanks to the fragments, they'll be in a shop as well, which means we can take their fives of armor to the whole new level. Now to do that, we need to buy, we need to use these guard tokens, and we need to spend five of them to get one of the armors. Now, the question on everyone's lips must be, how do we get these guard tokens? They come up to the next update. Hard mode. So basically, the story fragments will have a hard mode attached to them now. And in the hard mode, when you complete certain levels, you get guard tokens. And that's how we get the guard tokens to get to buy five star armor. Now, story fragments next batch is coming out as well. So Balfir, Ico, and Tidus. Balfir is one of the best characters in the game. So if you haven't got him, make sure you get him ASAP. He is really, really, really good. I don't use him that much because I'm not lucky with, with his skills like most people are. But if you're lucky with his skills and he steals buffs from enemies, he becomes an unstable machine. He is scary good. So like, look out for that. And also, as noted, hard mode will be added instantly to this as well. So we have hard, hard mode for story fragments from the get-go. I haven't started my story fragments yet because I've been kind of saving them for when I need to get last minute gems to pull on the banner that I really want to. But... Because it's hard mode and there's a lot of five star armors, I can't really like go on them anymore. I just like to exercise willpower and just save that now. But <laughs> I look forward to that. We get an example of what hard mode is like. If you can actually see here, two guy behemoths. One of them by itself was hard enough for the event. So two is gonna be crazy hard. Look out for that, guys. Like train your characters up the best you can. Because remember, the event characters that got synergy. It will also get synergy for story fragments as well. I the game doesn't detail that, but yeah, you will get synergy characters for those ones as well. So make sure you're training up all your characters, which is pretty good. Why a lot of the characters previously are getting a buff, and yeah. Next up, the story fragments banner. Balfir and Tidus are getting exclusive weapons. Balfir gets a capella, and Tidus gets the infant, the amazing Brotherhood. Like one of the most iconic swords in Final Fantasy history. Like, I can't wait. I am going to go crazy for Brotherhood because I love Brotherhood. Tidus, it, right now, isn't very good. Like, he's pretty meh. But I think after changes and buffs that he will get, I think he'll become a really good character. And getting Brotherhood, like the iconic Brotherhood, is just going to make him so much better. I, I, one thing I hope that if he does get, but it probably won't happen, is that he gets like the aqua touch that he has in Final Fantasy X, where you get the bubbles and flowing water around the sword. I hope that you get that here, but that would be a big, big ask. And if they don't do that, I'll be fine. Balfir is probably going to get his second skill made stronger, which was a uh, one point, I think, one point three times your brave HP attack. So I think it might increase the multiplier to one point four or one point five. And still a buff as well, so that's gonna be really good. 
Next up, we have August' event characters. August event characters kicks off a of line from Final Fantasy XI. Now we've got two Schlewitt characters, and I figured out who they are. One of the uh, line is Garnet from Final Fantasy IX. Hyped as hell for that. Can't wait for that to come in. Because I'm a big massive Final Fantasy IX fanboy. It's my favorite Final Fantasy in the series. So whenever there's a Final Fantasy IX event, I just get so happy. I can't wait to get Garnet, and that'll be great. I don't know how she's going to play there, because she's a summoner, I could as a healer, and you're going to make Garnet like an AoE magic attacker? That would be really good. I don't know. I'm, I'm speculating. Now we've got Orin from Final Fantasy X, who's going to be the other event character. Orin the Samurai. I know how Orin's going to play as well, because in Final Fantasy X, he plays the role that I supports do in FFRK. So he had like the power breakdown, mental breakdown, full break. Uh, but he's also a Samurai as well. So will he be like our... Or will he like be better at doing the taunting and retaliating that Galef currently occupies? It's, it's gonna be hard to know how, how Orin will play, but I can't wait for him to come in so I can see how he's gonna play. Also, Esper Beast Trial Ramu reoccurs. So if you missed out on getting Ramu to level 20, here's your second chance. Unfortunately, I don't think there's gonna be a contract where you get extra gems for getting him to level 20, but most important thing is getting him to level 20 because it gives you the option. Because the, with the uh, story fragment coming out and hard mode, Balfir event had a mega weapon who is a beast. However, he's weak to lightning and that would be a good time to use him. So, Ramu will be really good to make sure that when he does come back, you get him to level 20. One thing they're also adding is something called artifacts. Now, artifacts are going to give random passives to characters. Now, the game doesn't specify whether or not you choose a character or is character specific because you know how how these um trials have like set characters who get synergy who get like times to experience maybe like these characters or also get the bonus from the artifacts i mean the cp that we will be getting will come handy here so uh this will be interesting we we'll, i'm sure we'll get more details as the time comes out but yeah sbs ramu will be coming and artifacts as well a whole new mechanic so look out for that Finally, everyone will be getting 3,000 gems as a thank you for playing, and that will come after the maintenance as well. One thing this report doesn't mention is that the CP bonus that we got from doing the multiplayer uh, mission will be coming as well, so all characters will be getting 40 extra CP. So that's gonna be really good. I can't wait to start equipping more skills, but also the artifacts coming out as well. Look out for that, this is gonna be great. Also with, five star armor as well for characters it's just <laughs> the, the hype train doesn't stop it's going full speed <laughs> i can't wait for august uh chains coming is gonna be so epic and anyway, this is mess play guys i hope you all enjoyed this i hope it's been informative uh let me know in the comment section what you're looking most forward to what you're not what you think of the upcoming changes and yeah this is opera omnia i love this game and i thank you guys all for watching take care and goodbye